When I first picked up Rumble Roses for the PlayStation 2, I thought it would be getting a funny game that had a lot of jiggle and not much else. I even remember laughing when I read the back of the box and a story mode you won't forget was right next to Get Dirty in Mud Mode. And it turns out that my initial reaction could not have been further from the truth. Let me start out by saying that there is no layout for the controller in the game. Not in the options menu. Not in the pause menu. It's just nowhere to be found. See this? This is called an instruction manual, and it is needed to know how to do anything in the game. Rumble Roses was published by Konami in North America on my birthday, November 9th, back in 2004, and everything other than the game is in this full-color, 44-page instruction booklet. And this is where you learn to move the characters, attack, counter-attack, grab, counter-grab, and the all-important fact that right stick is taunt. In a day when manuals are now gone, I can understand how this would be confusing, but this used to be how all of the information was given to you about a game. If you played some games from the Nintendo and Super Nintendo era, and you didn't have the instruction manual, you would have no clue how to play it. The game has three main modes. Exhibition, Story Mode, and Gallery. Let's start with Story Mode, since it's mentioned on the back of the box. You choose one of the roses that are unlocked, and then you play through the Story Mode that will confuse, delight, and Later on, help you make sense of it all. Well, maybe. Warrior, lose to no one. The sight of a beautiful wrestling technique encouraged me when I was young. Huh? What? Cowgirl, those teats more magnificent than my sheep. The fighting in Rumble Roses is fairly complicated, and simple all at the same time, because there are very few buttons, but every time you press a direction and then a button, you get something different, such as up and grapple will do something different than just pressing grapple alone or down and grapple. You will use these moves to damage your opponent's arms, legs, body, or head. When you feel that they've had enough, you can either try a pin move or go for a submission move. The better you do during the match, a meter will fill up at the top of the screen that will unlock either killer or lethal moves. These moves are the signature moves and they look completely ridiculous and that is a wonderful thing. In the story mode, you may end up playing a humiliation match. This is simply a match where you need to do moves that show off your opponent's uh, charms and then end it by using a level of your lethal meter to humiliate them. When you complete the story mode with the character, you unlock the other version of that character. So for instance, if you complete the character with Bloody Shadow, you then unlock her good alter ego, Judgment. The exhibition mode is really interesting in that you can only play a face, good, Rose, or heal, evil, Rose at one time. So you can't have both Bloody Shadow and Judgment unlocked at the same time in Exhibition Mode. You have to move the slider from Heal over to Face to help unlock them. In order to change them, you need to use the Vow system. And what this does is that you select the Vows, think of it as old school achievements, like, don't use the R1 button, only win by submission, use your lethal move in the first three minutes, and so on. Once the character is 100% face or heal, then you can challenge for the title and try and take down the title holder. If you beat the current champion, you then unlock the gallery for that character. The gallery is a place where you can look at the roses in their locker room. Wait, that sounded worse than it is. 
In the gallery, you can do a few different things. You can let it just sit for a few minutes, actually about a minute, and then a short interview in speech bubbles will appear below. You can also read their profile, get to know a little bit more about the roses. You can also listen to all their voice interactions. Prepare for eternal Prepare for eternal silence. You can also listen to their entrance music. And a lot of those entrance music pieces are amazing. You can also use the controls to adjust the camera. And lastly, you can just exit back to the character selection. If you don't do anything on the screen, the camera just kind of pans around while they stretch and adjust their uniforms. Overall, this game started out as a joke, and I ended up really liking it. I got hooked on the story, crazy as it is, and the gameplay, while frustrating at times, never felt unfair. I would often take a break, walk away, come back, and then I would have the aha moment where I would be able to push through and go to the next opponent. With patience and a bit of time, I learned how to play most of the characters and have been having a blast with it, even loving the ridiculous nature. If you find a copy, I highly recommend picking it up, especially if you like other wrestling games. While this may not have the WWD license slapped all across it, it is truly an impressive game. Well, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!